Melbourne, Australia is a great place to find fun for the whole family. So here are my top five family attractions in Melbourne. The Royal Melbourne Zoological Gardens, commonly known as the Melbourne Zoo, contains more than 320 animal species from Australia and around the world. It is Australia's oldest zoo, modelled on the famous London Zoo. Each year, many schools visit the zoo because of its immensely popular educational program, encouraging young minds to conserve animals. It is a great place to take the family, and when visiting the Australian outback, you can see animals such as kangaroos, emus, wombats, koalas, echidnas, lace monitors, and a variety of small bird aviaries. Also, when visiting the zoo, be sure to check out the Butterfly House, where you can walk through an exhibit for tropical butterflies. Tickets for adults are about $25, and kids' tickets are about $13. You can also purchase family tickets, which I definitely encourage, but be sure to check out the website for exact pricing when planning the budget for your trip. ScienceWorks has a stunning range of themed exhibitions and interactive scientific displays. You can experience live demonstrations, informative tours, and plenty of hands-on activities for the kids. If your family's into sports, be sure to visit SportsWorks, featuring over 20 hands-on virtual experiences. You can also take the ultimate sporting challenge, discovering your body's talents. Perhaps it's a wheelchair athlete, or a soccer goalie, or even an extreme snowboarder. The Nitty Gritty Super City is built especially for three to eight year olds and is a kid's own city to explore. Kids can create in the construction zone, record their own weather report, steer a ship, and much more. ScienceWorks also features the Melbourne Planetarium, which will take you to the stars and beyond while reclining in a comfortable seat. It also features the Lightning Room, which will teach you how lightning is made. Now, keep in mind, additional charges may apply when visiting either of these two exhibits. ScienceWorks is open daily from 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Kids ages 3 to 16 will always get in free, and adults are only $8. The Great Ocean Road is on the southwest coastline of Victoria between Moonlight Head and Port Ferry. It's a very treacherous section of the coast, claiming more than 180 ships, earning it the nickname Shipwreck Coast. The Shipwreck Discovery Trail is a great place to visit with a family where you can actually still see some of these shipwreck sites, such as the Marie Gabrielle and the Fiji. To get a better view of the Great Ocean Road, you must visit the lighthouse located on the point of Cape Otway. Historically, the lighthouse guided ships bound for Port Villet Bay, but today it is open to the public. You can also check out some of the other lighthouses in the area, such as Split Point Lighthouse at Aries Inlet and Point Lonsdale Lighthouse on the Bellarine Peninsula. The Melbourne Aquarium recently underwent significant expansion now extending all the way from the Yarra River to Flinders Street. There's a new entrance built right on the corner of Flinders Street and King Street. The building was designed by architects to resemble a ship moored to the river and opened in January 2000. It is one of Victoria's premier tourist attractions with four amazing worlds to explore. When you're visiting the aquarium, be sure to check out the sea turtles exhibit. Here's an interesting fact. They're actually involved in the rehabilitation of turtles that are washed down to the cold Victorian waters where they cannot survive. So they take in the sea turtles, allow them to get stronger, then they release them up in Queensland where the waters are warmer. At the center of the aquarium is a world first a 2.2 million litre oceanarium in the round, where the spectators become the spectacle to the marine life swimming around them. Adult admission is about $34 and kids around $20, but kids that are under three do get in for free. We recommend two and a half to three hours for your exciting journey through the aquarium, so plan accordingly. The Eureka Tower, featuring the Eureka Sky Deck, is located in the South Bank precinct of Melbourne City. It was once the world's tallest residential building when measured to its highest floor. It may not be the tallest residential building in the world anymore, but the Observation Deck is the highest public vantage point in the Southern Hemisphere, standing at a whopping 935 feet. The Observation Deck occupies the entire 88th floor, and for entry, adults cost approximately $18, kids about $10. But for only a couple of dollars more, you can get a special Sun and Stars ticket, which allows you to visit once during the day and once at night. 
Once again, here are my top five family attractions in Melbourne. Melbourne Zoo, Science Works, The Great Ocean Road, Melbourne Aquarium, Eureka Sky Deck 88. I'm Asha Kay and thanks for watching. If you want to know more about Mahalo Travel, click on any of the links around me and subscribe to our Mahalo Travel channel and mahalo.com. If you have any recommendations, please send us an email, requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.